but let me begin in all humility by saying that on the 12th of April I received a fixed penalty notice relating to an event in Downing Street on the 19th of June 2020. I paid the fine immediately and I offered the British people a full apology. And I take this opportunity on the first available sitting day to repeat my wholehearted apology to the House. As soon as I received the notice, I acknowledged the hurt and the anger. And I said that people had a right to expect better of their Prime Minister. And I repeat that, Mr Speaker, again in the House now. Let me also say, not by way of mitigation or excuse, but purely, purely because it explains my previous words in this House, that it did not occur to me then or subsequently that a gathering in the Cabinet room just before a vital meeting on COVID strategy could amount to a breach of the rules. I repeat, that was my mistake and I apologise for it unreservedly. I respect the outcome of the police investigation, which is still underway, and I can only say that I will respect their decision-making and always take the appropriate steps. And as the House will know, I have already taken significant steps to change the way things work in Number 10. And it is precisely because I know that so many people are angry and disappointed that I feel an even greater sense of obligation to deliver on the priorities of the British people and to respond in the best traditions of our country to Putin's barbaric onslaught against Ukraine. Our Ukrainian friends are fighting for the life of their nation and they achieved the greatest feat of arms of the 21st century by repelling the Russian assault on Kiev. 